Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about color correction and skin tone in Photoshop. And as you can see this image, the image looks warm as in it has too much red and the skin tone is not looking nice. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this issue or how you can fix this problem in Photoshop. So to start editing your image or to start fixing the skin tone or let's say to start the color correction process of your image, you have to press Ctrl G on your keyboard, which is the first thing you have to do. You can just click on the background layer first, then you press Ctrl G. If you don't want to press Ctrl G, you have to right click, then you select duplicate layer. So once you select duplicate layer, you can change the name of the layer. Then you click on OK. We are going to be using the camera raw filter settings for this color correction. To open your camera raw setting, you have to go to filter and select camera raw, or you have to click on Ctrl Shift A on your keyboard. Once you click on Ctrl Shift A on your keyboard, the camera raw filter is just going to open. Now your camera raw filter might be different from mine because I'm using Adobe Photoshop 2024. So in the colors, we have to reduce the temperature. You can see what is happening on our image if I reduce the temperature. So for the temperature, you can leave it to be minus eight, but we are going to come back to this temperature later. Then you have to close this color, head to color mixer. So for the color mixer, we have to reduce the red. This filter the photographer used was warm filter and it's kind of red. So that's why our image looks like this. For the red, let's leave it to be around minus 18. Then for the orange, we are just going to reduce the orange to be minus 21. You can see that the effect has reduced. So let's just go to luminance and see if we can increase or decrease the luminance. So for the luminance, I'm just going to leave it to plus three and we are done with this color mixer section. Now the next thing I want to do is to go back to color and reduce the temperature. You can see what's happening. Let's leave it to be around minus 22. Then you can increase your vibrance if you like or you can decrease the vibrance anyone you like. Because I've reduced those saturation like because i reduced the color mixer area for the orange that's why i'm increasing my vibrance for the general like general colors so i'll be able to get back those colors that i reduce and so the image will be able to look better you can see that our image has become more better like before before the image looks very warm now the image is average even if it's lacking some colors well, we are going to fix this skin tone later. So I'm just going to close this color and go to effect. Now for the effect, I can increase the clarity. Let's increase the clarity to be around plus seven. For the dehaze, I can increase the dehaze. Let's just leave the dehaze to be around, let's say plus eight for the dehaze. And I think it's looking good. So let's just go to other settings area. Let's go to calibration. Then we can, let's just reduce the blue primary a little bit. These settings that I'm just doing might be different in your picture. So if you have this similar kind of, let's say similar kind of colors in your picture that is in mine, you can be able to follow these settings that I'm showing you in photoshop so i increase the clarity yes so let's just go back to lights so i'm just going to click on lights now for the contrast let's increase the contrast a little bit to plus seven then for the shadows i will just increase the shadows and reduce the highlights a little bit and Let's go back to colors and reduce the temperature to minus 22. And once I'm done, I'm just going to click OK. You can see now that our image is now looking better. This is the before. 
and this is the after but the result is not looking good so what i'm just going to do here is to go to my create new adjustment layer create new fill or adjustment layer so i'm just going to look for photo filter so for the photo filter i will change it to cooling filter 15. so once i've selected cooling filter 15 i'm just going to collapse this area and merge these two layers together this is the before and this is the after you can see that our image is now looking better than before so once you have done all these things in your image the next thing you have to do is to apply that skin tune effect back to your image now you can check the previous videos in my youtube channel to know how to create that skin tone process for light or dark skin or if you have dirty studio magic retouching pack there's no need to check my previous video so just go to actions if you have already bought the magic retouching pack you have to go to action then you will look for even skin tone so once you see this even skin tone just play it and once you have played it make sure your foreground color is white this area make sure it is white i know some people will be complaining that their brush is not working it's because of your foreground color is black so make sure the foreground color is white by clicking on these two arrows that are facing each other or you click on this area then you change it to white or the next thing you have to do is to just press x on your keyboard and it's just going to change to white once it has changed to white increase the flow to 100. the next thing you have to do is to start painting on your image so just start painting on the skin of the image you can increase the opacity a little bit once the opacity is at 18 then you start painting on the image just paint on the skin alone and let's just paint on this area so once i'm done with this area i'm just going to move to this part let's remove it from this area remember if the foreground color is black you'll be able to remove the effect or the filter from your image but if the foreground color is white, you'll be able to add that effect on your image. This only works when you are using a layer max. Let's go to our body also to apply it. And let's just merge these two areas together. Also, I can just go to my eye whitening process. Let's just click on eye whitening. Now to create this eye whitening effect, you can either watch the previous video or you can just go to Dirty Studio Magic retouching pack section which is the action section and just click on eye whitening now if you don't have dirty studio magic retouching pack just go to create new fill or adjustment layer and before then we have to create a new layer just press ctrl g then go to create new fill or adjustment layer click on saturation then reduce the saturation for the lightning increase the lightning a bit so once you are done go to create new fill or adjustment layer again then you click on curves so for the curves just increase the curves a little bit then you click on this area again then we are going to click on photo filter you already know what photo filter is used for because i showed a few seconds or few minutes ago so you click on cooling filter 80 and you leave the cooling filter 80 to be around 7 and once the cooling filter 80 is 7 just collapse it now what you are going to do next is that you will highlight these three layers together to do this click on the first layer as in you left click on the first layer hold ctrl and shift on your keyboard left click on the last layer right click and select group from layers or you just press ctrl g on your keyboard and it's just going to group the layers now once you have grouped your layers hold alt on your keyboard alt on your keyboard once you hold alt on your keyboard left click on the layer max and it's just going to add a new layer max for you and the effect is just going to disappear from the image now you select your brush once you select your brush make sure your foreground color is white zoom in your image just zoom in your image then you brush on the eyes and remove that red effect or that orange effect from the eyes because we want the eyes to look better so once you're done with the first eyes move to the second eyes and also clean it let's just clean this area so once i'm done cleaning the next eye 
I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the eye whitening process so our image won't look fake. This is the before and this is the after. You can see that the eye is now looking more better. You can reduce the opacity to be around 60 instead of 100. Now let's match all these layers together apart from the background layer. And let's look at the before and the after of everything we have done. This is the before. This is the after. Let's zoom in our image. This is the before. And this is the after. And we are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this video was very helpful to you, subscribe for more videos. Turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And leave a like to help the channel out.